DJI have just released an updated firmware for the Mavic Air 2 and they've added a zoom feature, but you shouldn't be using it. Let's explain why. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning on. The studio isn't quite finished yet, but this is the first video that I'll be shooting in here. So it's a bit of a test. In the meantime, you might have noticed that DJI have just released a brand new firmware update for the Mavic Air 2. Version 1.0.0.0.3.40 brings a whole new set of features. No smart controller support, unfortunately, but they have introduced digital zoom. And I think a lot of people are quite excited about this, but maybe don't fully understand the implications of shooting footage with digital zoom. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you why you shouldn't be using that feature. Let's explain why. So one of the great benefits of shooting at the native resolution and zoom of a drone like the Mavic Air 2 is that in post editing, you can zoom into it. You can pan, scan it, clip it right in, take a 4K image and double its size so that actually you're effectively zooming in. Now it's not a real zoom because all you're actually doing is making the image bigger. But that's all the new feature on the Mavic Air 2 is doing as well. It's not adding any sort of mechanical or optical zoom to the drone, it's simply scaling the image by two. Now the downside of that is if you take an image from a sensor that's only capable of 4K, like the Mavic Air 2, and you blow it up, you're not actually getting any more pixels because the sensor can't capture any more. Drones like the Autel Evo 2 8K are actually capable of capturing many, many more pixels. And therefore actually by cropping in digitally, you're not losing any quality when you render out at 4K. But drones like the Mavic Air 2 max out at 4K. And so when you start using the onboard zoom feature, all you're doing is doubling the size of those pixels and that will lose clarity and detail in your image. The other downside is that when you shoot and record video in the zoomed in state, you're stuck with it zoomed in. There's no way to unzoom it because the drone captured it in that way. Now, if you shoot the footage standard without any digital zoom applied, you've got two options. You can use the footage as it is, or you can zoom it in in post editing. But the point is that you've given yourself choice now. Whereas if you shoot and record that video zoomed in, you're stuck with that. So in summary, digital zoom is a bit of a gimmick and you can use it in the air to have a look closer at things before you actually take the final shot, but certainly don't record in a zoomed state because you can do that so easily in post editing and you give yourself much more of a choice. Hopefully this video makes sense. If you're still confused, comment below and I'll do all that I can to answer your questions. Hit that subscribe button and of course give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're a bit of a moron. Thanks very much for watching.